Hey, Tim Unker here, and in this video, we're going to talk about order of operations using Python on a Chromebook. Okay, so one way to learn order of operations is through uh, using Python, and you can use it on a Chromebook really easily. First thing you need to do is go to settings, and you want to go to advanced and developers, and then you want to turn on your Linux development environment. I already have it turned on, so um, we'll skip that step, but all you do here, there'll be a button that says turn on. You click on that. It'll uh, give you a default username, which you can change, and a default size, which you can change. I usually leave the defaults and then just hit enter, and then it runs and installs. And then you have this terminal here uh, that comes on up. And now with um, with the terminal, uh, and when with this install installation, you have Python 3 installed. So I'm just going to type Python 3 and see, it gives me the version number and then these like three uh, greater than symbols. And now I can run Python and I can do calculations to show order of operations. So um, order of operations, uh, one way to think of it, a lot, a lot of ways it's explained is through the acronym PEMDAS, which is stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. And they go across in that order, although with multiplication and divisions from left to right, they're kind of equal, and addition and subtraction are equal from left to right. Okay, so if subtraction comes first from the left to right, you do the subtraction first uh, because it's equal to addition. Exponents, uh, they are uh, considered done first before multiplication division and then multiplication division is done first before addition and subtraction parentheses are always done first so let's say we had two plus uh three minus five okay uh actually no let's do two plus three times five okay it's going to do what's in the parentheses first so three times five so it's going to give you 15, and then it's going to add the 2. And so you're going to have 17, okay? Uh, but if I did, now, did I need the parentheses on that? Because let's look, 2 plus 3 times 5 is also going to give me 17 because the multiplication is coming before the addition and subtraction. Okay, uh, but let's say we had 2 plus 3 times 5, and then I'm going to do two asterisks. That means that we're having an exponent, and we're now uh, squaring it. Okay, if I do that, I'm going to get 77. If I do 2 plus 3 times 5, and then do the asterisk and the 2, I get 227. So what's the difference? Well, it's doing the parentheses first before the exponent. So the star star Two is squaring it, raising it to the second power. Um, <clears throat> but in this first one, we're doing five to the second power. So this is like two times three times five squared. Five squared is 25. So three times 25 is 75 plus two gives me 77. In this case, we're doing two plus three times five. So, uh, but we do the three times five before we square it. So it's 15. So we have 2 plus 15 squared. 15 squared is 225, so 2 plus 225 is 227, okay? So I hope that makes sense, all right? So the cool thing about this on a Chromebook is you can easily set up the Linux environment, and if you're learning order of operations, or maybe you're even an adult and want to review order of operations, you can type in the equation and enter it and see what the result is and then figure out what happened first. And if you're on Facebook or one of those other uh, social media apps and someone says, you're a genius if you know how to figure this out, you could just type it into a Python console and then hit enter and you would figure it out very quickly. And uh, then you'd be a genius. I don't know. Anyways, uh, but it's a great way to test out order of operations um, using Python and learn a little bit uh, about that, the math procedure. Okay, so I hope you liked this video. If you did like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications as it really helps the channel grow. And if you've already liked and subscribed, 
I thank you and I hope you to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.